Okay guys, I'm at a Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm finding a lot of broken things like back there. But I did find a few things. I found this shell vase, some picture frames and a reef and some like lemon thing. I'll show everything when I get home, but cool. I never checked this location. I'm so glad I did. So first off, I found this really pretty eucalyptus reef still in its crate at the Bed Bath & Beyond store. Like I didn't even know <laughs> reefs come in crates. And this is the Bee and Willow Home Reef. It retailed for $39.99. That's crazy. And as you can see, it says the Eucalyptus Reef, keep out of the reach of children and pets. It smells really good. I need to take it out of this crate and I'm gonna put it in my kitchen, but that is really cute. And for $40, I'm happy I found it in the dumpster. A few more items I found from Bed Bath & Beyond are these picture frames. They say, hello, I love you. And I'm not sure how much they retailed for, just the glass was broken. So I have two of those. And I also showed you this like lemon flower arrangement thing. I thought it was cute, um, perfect for a kitchen. And I can just put it into a new vase. This retailed for $20, ridiculous. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Wait, almost forgot this. This is this really cute seashell flower vase, I'm guessing it is. It is broken. I found this at the Bed Bath & Beyond too. You can see the crack going down, but I'm just going to like glue that on the inside and I'll have it facing this way, which you would never be able to tell. And my house theme is very beachy, so this goes perfectly with it. I did not get a chance to film this, but after I checked the Bed Bath & Beyond store, I did go to a local Joann's and I found a few things. I found this Ashland mirrored frame. There are some cracks on the mirror parts, but you can't really tell. I thought that was really pretty. I found this 16 by 20 picture frame. You can see just the glass is broken. I still have a few pieces that I need to pluck out of there, but yeah, still not bad. <laughs> then the last thing from Joanne's Fabrics was this Ashland, or is it Michael's? It might've been Michael's guys. I honestly can't remember. I know it was one of them. It's either Joanne's or Michael's. So this retailed for $39.99. It is a lantern with like, gold detailing and just one of the glasses are broke up here in the corner but you honestly can't even tell if you put something in there or just have it this way no one would be able to tell hey guys i'm at my bath and body works trash can and there's also a marshall's close by marshall's threw out this huge like swing that you would like have on a thing i have an accord this will not fit in my car and by the time my husband gets off work i know this will be gone this sucks yeah but yeah bath and body works just some plugins and this swing that i can't unfortunately grab so that sucks hey guys i just left my bath and body works and look what i found a box full of broken candles Yay! They look to be mostly fall. So, yes, I, I don't know. There's quite a bit in there. There's also like two random broken desert wildflowers over here. But, oh my god, yes. I'm so happy that I found this because my spots have been a little dry lately. I definitely have some competition. I've actually ran into two different divers recently so they're definitely getting to one of my spots before me i just need to switch up my my times that i go but luckily i found this at one of the bath and body works locations so let's go over it look how freaking beautiful oh my goodness down here on the side are two of the desert wildflower 
candles and this one is just chipped. So we tossed it, it smells so good. And then here's another one and it's completely broken. I don't know if these were purposely broken or if these were just like accidents because this box right here is a full box of fall candles. So it's only two different scents. It is, what is this one? Salted caramel pumpkin. And then the other one is pumpkin peanut brittle. So I don't know if this was done on purpose for them to damage out their fall items or if this came in delivery. I have no idea it's exactly how I found it. So lots of cleaning up to do. So there are, I believe, 13 candles in here. Um, yay. And I actually really, really enjoy fall candles. So I don't care. I'll burn these at springtime, summertime, anything. I love food scents. I think they smell so good. So as you can see, so many. And then off here on the side were just two random little things. Oops. This is a stress relief eucalyptus spearmint pillow mist. Just missing the topper, which I believe I have a few of these. So I'll just put a new topper on it. And then the last thing is this beautiful snowy morning diamond shimmer mist. Look at that. So pretty. Yeah, it was a damaged, tried to cross it out, but still has quite a bit of product in it. That old top, everything is a mess, everything is thrown out. Don't know if I'm gonna find a lot, but I'm gonna look. guys just left Ulta everything is a mess I grabbed what I could out of that trash can but they completely like flipped over the soup boxes so everything was scattered in there I grabbed what I could so we're gonna go through I'm gonna clean everything up and I'm gonna show you what I was able to find do you see that perfume <laughs> all right let me get the cleaning First up, I'm gonna go over some foundations. Please don't mind my hands. Um, I did just clean all these products, so I have like makeup underneath my nails. I have to really give myself a manicure. So this is the Becca Illuminating Coverage Foundation. Pretty full, just missing the lid. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. This is new, I believe. I've never tried this, so I'm excited to give that a try, and it looks like it might be my shade. I found this cute little Too Faced holiday eyeshadow palette. It has this cute little gingerbread lady right in the center. You open it like this, and it's like a little star. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's been out for a while. And as you can see, there is employee damage. They went through and kind of scraped every single eyeshadow and blush and highlighter, but there's still a ton of product in here. This is still very usable, still very pretty. Like this is something I would use for like display in my beauty room. Zoeva little palettes. This one is called the Cocoa Blend Highlighter Palette. And that's what this one looks like. Once again, employee damage, but still a lot of product. There are two different highlighters. You have a very like wearable and then you have like a peachy colored one. Another one, this is Caramel Melange. I don't know. Side of that one, it's a little bit darker of a highlighter with a even pinkier toned highlighter. I was also able to save this really cute ColourPop Belle blush. This is the Enchanted Mirror pressed powdered blush and it has one little employee damage right in the middle but once again that's a ton of product who cares about a little scratch these are pretty used so i think they might be testers yeah there's tester stickers these are the guilty pleasure super shock cheek highlighters so that's that one and then this one is a blush up next is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. 
that's what it looks like some employee damage and there's some like eyeshadow on there i haven't really cleaned this one yet except the outer packaging but once again that's a full compact of bronzer i also found this becca what is this hydro mist set and refresh powder it's a setting powder it's just missing the cap but it's still closed and there's still a quite a bit of product in there so pretty cool that it comes with this little lid i also found all these nyx tester eyebrow pencils and they look to be in pretty good condition so that's all of them they're all pretty full they don't even look like they were really that used well especially these square tipped ones but there's still a ton of product in these also was able to save two of these color pop brow boss gels they're just the normal little brow brush gel thingies you know just a brow filler in i was able to save the juvia's place warrior palette and this is what the inside looks like. You can see the straight, they ran either a brush or something straight across all of them, but still it's in really good condition. And this is a beautiful palette. And my most exciting find you guys of the day is I found this Chloe perfume. Guys, this is the, you can't really see it, but on the bottom, this is the 2.5 ounce one. This is like $130. This is ridiculous that they tossed this out. I mean, I'm happy that they did, but I can't believe that they just throw these out. And why I think they did was the metal on the perfume. I'm trying to I'm trying to show you like right here is like rusted and maybe somebody got it for a gift and they opened it and they exchanged it. That's pretty crazy that that's like tarnished right there. But nonetheless, I'm happy to find this because this is a very good smelling perfume and I love finding perfumes. All right, so we're coming to the end. I found these two Revolution Makeup Revolution Shook palettes. They're pretty big, like they're bigger than my hand. And yeah, the Shook palette. It's actually a really nice palette. Like I really do like the colors. There are pretty small pans actually while well, these ones are and then you have some like transition colors and you have all the other eyeshadows right here. it comes with a pretty big mirror the only thing I don't like about it is this bulky packaging I hate palettes that are bulky like this like if it would have just been in a slick like cardboard like this Juvia's Place one I feel like this would be an awesome palette and because they are pretty affordable. There was a $9.99 like orange sticker on here. So I guess they were on sale for like $9.99. But it's a really pretty palette. You can see it has employee damage. And then I found another one with the same exact damage to it. But once again, there's still a ton of product in there. These are these really cute Coca-Cola little zipper bags. I do think they came with makeup because one still had one item inside of it still. This is the Coca-Cola Lip Gloss Lip Smacker. The only one that still had one in it, but the little bags are really cute. You could put random things in them and they didn't destroy them. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And keep checking back to see my dumpster diving scores. I'll see you in the next one.